Hi everybody. I just thought I'd give it a little bit of a go um, showing you um, what we've got with our geophysics. So um, I hope this works all right. Just playing around with PowerPoint really. Uh, so here look is our map. Aerial photograph of our site. This area here where it's been mown and this area where it's all kind of overgrown. Um, that's our hook site. And the geophysics, well, it works kind of. There it is in this grey scale. So you can see it's all kind of variations on grey. The darker are the areas where it's um, low resistance, so the ground's a bit damper. And the light colour, the white, is where the um, where it's high resistance, where the uh, where the ground is um, is drier. There's a bit of variation um, that's caused by us doing it over different days. So we did those three over. Um, over one day, these ones over another, and that day was actually the day where it rained, and we were getting some very strange results. But I've I've left it on though because I think you can still see through some of that. So um, let's try and make it a little bit easier to look at, shall we? So first thing I've done is uh, put it on a map, um, which makes it a little bit small, um, and in fact it's a bit better if we get rid of the those red blocks of the bits we hadn't done. Um, so there it is in in grey scale, but sometimes it looks a little bit better if you look at it in uh, in colour. And so you can switch it to RGB, which means that uh, you've got red, green, and blue, and uh, that makes it now. So the um, the low um, resistance are blue, the high resistance are red, um, and in between are green. So it goes from blue, green to red. And I think you can see that um, when you look at the high resistance, you can see some things starting to appear. And if you look a little bit, more, little bit more carefully in amongst the red, the green and the blue, you can maybe also see some things going on. Um, so uh, really the ob first obvious thing you see is these big splashes of red. Some of this, I think, is to do with the um, we were getting shorting, I think, um, due to the rain actually landing on the machine rather than the ground. But if you look carefully, I think you can see a few things. I'm just going to pick them out as I go along. So first of all, you see where that um, uh, where the where the yellow box has appeared here. Look, there is something going that way and something going that way, almost like horizontal, as if there is maybe a big box shape on that um, area, lurking underneath. Um, clearly, an area that's had a lot of um, a lot of uh, material dumped on it in more recent times and certainly some of this high resistance here could well be dumping and I think that blob there is also a blob of um, rubble that's been dumped on the site but that dumping doesn't really account for that straight line going along there which well, it doesn't quite follow the top of the um, uh, the top of the of the dip of the of the, the dip which is the coming up as blue here where you've got that extra bit of moat coming through this way. Um, and so that more lines up when you see it in physical world, um, more lines up here. So it might be that that is all to do with dumping, but that makes quite a good mark um, of the edge of that moat. I think I put a box around it. There's the box around it. So that might be dumping. Well, there might be something going on there to make that straight line, but sometimes people dump things in straight line. Also down here, then you've got the blue coming in a straight, coming across here, um, a bit mucked around by that big red splodge there, which might be to do with the machine shorting. But uh, well, we'll have a look at the, we'll go back to the magnetometry and see whether there's anything suggesting that that might be some something else, like more dumping. Uh, so you've got a very dark, very blue area here, very low resistance, suggesting that that's kind of full of, it's holding water better. Um, and then here, a little bit more patchy, um, but maybe you could draw a line going that way. And that this is that inner moat showing up as blue, holding its water better. Um, so what's all this red bit here? Well, I think that might be to do with the shorting. But what it might also be, though, is that, that red coming through here might be more dumping, where they've actually dumped in a line um, off the edge of the um, 
uh, of the of the moat down into this moat here although it, it didn't really show particularly we need to go almost feel like going back and having another look now and seeing what it looks like in real life so you know things are showing there the dumping is going on particularly in the red but i i think that if you look at the differences in the green and the blue that we are seeing hints and um, that we may well have buildings on this site which is a big question one of the things chris raised was well do we actually know whether this is the site of the manor house and we don't really not for sure um you know there could be a manor house somewhere else and this could be a very grand enclosure or it could be the site of the hermitage the hermitage could have always sat in this moat until you actually start to see whether there are buildings here it's not really uh, completely clear and of course the geophys hasn't totally clear either but uh, i think there are some suggestions here i'd be interested to see what you guys think the last one of these rectangular things is is partly um kind of created by some of the red but i'm not sure whether there is dumping over here but i, <clears throat> I do feel that it might be another rectangular feature here on the um on that other moat platform if you like so I think that's really exciting that it does look like there may well be things going on on the site here, even if they are somewhat masked still. Uh, but they're not masked in the same way as they are with the magnetometry here. Look there, that magnetometry is really masked by all those black and white. There is, a, you know, a bit of darker underneath here, but it's difficult to really definitely say. But I think we've seen through some of the dumping a bit better with earth resistance. But look there, going across the um, across the moat, this mini moat, there does seem to be um, a bit more of this kind of clutter, this background noise going across it that might re might represent that red stripe that we saw rather than the machine shorting. So actually, I could have been, you know, casting nasturtiums about my own machine there. Um, and in fact, the issue was more that there was dumping underneath the bit we were working on. There's our colours look. So there is that red bit I'm talking about. Going across this way, possibly, is this line of dumping as well here. And what James didn't really feel he could pick up was this possibility of something rectangular here, or his part of it just seemed to hang over the edge a bit. <clears throat> and then on this side, on here, that bit. Well, it looks like there's more dumping there on the, uh, whether they've got all the way across to dump on this side. Oh no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong part. It's this bit here. That is outside the moat. There's the moat. So this area here is this bit that I thought also looked a bit rectangular. So there's not so much dumping in that area. Maybe we are seeing something here. So I... You know, it's not absolute. It's not one of those ones that they put on television and say, look at this, fantastic, it's a Roman villa. Um, but there are suggestions there that things are going on. Um, and I think maybe we just need to go back and have another look and see what the guy found when he did those excavations in the 60s, whether he found any actual evidence for the buildings. So, um, yeah, that's really exciting. Uh, just need to think whether we need to continue on and do these two squares here. Um, or whether we say, well, you know, we've found enough evidence there to suggest there is something going on. Um, and uh, maybe we need to do another project. Maybe we need to make sure that we get on and draw our uh, uh, draw our lumps and bumps. So um, we'll have a think about that. But it's just a chance for you really to have a look um, at the uh, at what we've got so far. Fantastic. <clears throat>